So this is how the game currently looks. I've got this guy who can run around and shoot. Can shoot these guys, shoot both directions. But it's a little bit lacking. Let's add some fun and excitement to the game. So first thing I want is to have a platform that moves. So I'm just going to go in here and drop in a sprite. Everything we can see mostly is a sprite. Use the paint bucket tool and just fill it up with a nice green color. That's going to be a platform that's going to move up and down. And I'm going to call it a sign platform because it is going to have a sign behavior. So a sign is just defines a curve, trigonometric function. You learn about it in year 10, I think, most people. And uh, we've got a choice of making it horizontal or vertical. Let's make it vertical and magnitude is how much it moves. I'm going to make it move 100 pixels. So if I hit play, there we go. There's my platform, but I've totally forgotten to put on it a jump through or solid behavior. I prefer jump through. So let's just try that again. So now, yep, I can stand on here and I can shoot from here. So it adds a bit of variety to what's going on. So that's one kind of platform. And it's very easy to make a game with um, some puzzle elements that are quite interesting with, with those moving around. I also want to have a fade platform that fades away as I stand on it. So I'm going to make again another new kind of platform. You can make them look the same as the old platforms if you want to do it that way or you can um, do a different colors like I'm doing. I'm really doing this just to make it stand out. So I'm going to call this my fade platform and it would need to look more like a platform than a big horrible ugly blob. So it needs behaviors. This time I'm going to remember to put the jump through behavior on to begin with jump through and there it is but I'm also going to add a fade behavior so the fade behavior means it's actually just going to disappear now if I just hit play you'll see what happens it just fades away I don't want it to do that I want it to fade away only when I land on it so what I'm going to do my fade behavior which I've highlighted here so I can say active at start no and then I've got a, a a fade out time of one second. I think that's about right, but I can always change that afterwards and destroys itself after the fade out. So what I'm going to do is my event sheet. I'm going to have an event that when my player on collision with another object, in this case the fade platform, I'm going to add the action in the fade platform and now we've got a whole fade section here. I'm going to say start that fade. So let's just see what that looks like. So I've still got my sign platform here and now I've got my fade platform. Aha, worked perfectly. So I could then make a bit of a puzzle by moving a few of these around. Last thing I'm going to do in this video, I'm just going to add in some particles because I haven't done particles before and they're actually quite nice. So over here off to the side of the screen, I'm going to add a big particle thing. These work differently from sprites. I'm just going to put in here, just for the sake of illustration, a big blob, red blob. This is going to be a particle that happens when the monster gets destroyed to make it a bit more visually interesting. So I'll just leave that right there off to one side. And um, there's a lot of configurations with particles. So I'm going to make this not a continuous spray, but a one shot. Feel free to try continuous spray. It's pretty obvious what that does. Uh, now there's a bunch of other things. So I'm just going to leave that for now. With particles, the best thing is to have a look at how it is and then um, worry about it later. And what I'm going to call this is uh, monster death spray something. It's mob actually, mob monster, isn't it? This might as well name things consistently. That's a really good idea. Mob death spray. Done. So in the event sheet right here, I've got bullet on collision with mob. Mob destroy, bullet destroy. What I'm also going to add in here is an action, which is going to be mob spawn another object. And it's going to be the mob death spray. Done. Uh, kind of makes sense as well that I'm going to make the mob spawn at the mob death spray before it gets destroyed itself. Otherwise, it could get a bit confusing. 
Uh, let's just see if that actually has the effect that I wanted. So if I go up here, yeah, it's actually pretty good. Um, now, it is heading off in that one direction there. So there's so many things that we can change. For instance, it's got a spray cone of 60. So that's that 60 degrees off to the side. If I make it 360, then it's all going to be right where I am. So let's just shoot. Yeah, I think that's pretty satisfying actually. Good place to end this video.